I always thought the I word was ice cream. It should be, right? Two words. Nancy Pelosi is one of the most liberal members of Congress. She's also the leading voice urging her fellow Democrats not to impeach Donald Trump. Quote, I'm not for impeachment, she told the Washington Post in the spring. See, I said that. I don't want to impeach. I want them to give us the information before they have to spend too much more money on lawyers. That is odd, right? Very liberal, opposed to this impeachment. What gives? It's a good question. And I have the answer, or more accurately, I have the answers. Start here. Pelosi is the Speaker of the House and the most prominent Democratic elected official in the country at the moment. So this debate over impeachment isn't about what Pelosi personally thinks. It's about what she thinks is best for the Democratic Party heading into the 2020 elections. And her thinking can be summed up pretty simply, again, from a quote she gave in that interview with the Washington Post. Quote, he's not worth it, Pelosi said of Trump, and the possibility of impeaching him. That notion that impeaching Trump is more trouble than it's worth seeps into all the specific reasons that Pelosi doesn't support the move. Now let's get into those specific reasons. Number one, the public doesn't really want it. In a May CNN poll, just 37% of Americans wanted Trump impeached, while 59% said they didn't think that was the right approach. Now that same poll showed that 44% say Democrats are going too far in investigating the president. That's an increase from 38% who said so in March. Now one in four voters said Democrats in Congress are doing too little to investigate Trump, while 28% said they thought Democrats were doing about the right amount. So those poll numbers amount to a flashing red siren for Democrats. The public may not love or even like Donald Trump, but they don't want to see him impeached and worry the opposition party in Congress has already crossed the line when it comes to investigating him. Now sidebar, there is, of course, the possibility that the public's mood could change in the course of a formal impeachment inquiry. In fact, that's exactly what happened during the Senate's investigation into Watergate. They went from opposing to supporting. Number two, he'll never be impeached anyway. The Democratic majority in the House could probably impeach Trump like tomorrow. The votes would almost certainly be there. Here's the problem. The 53 Republican senators who control the majority in the upper chamber have shown no sign of cracking in their support for Trump. The case is closed. The House can do whatever they choose to. If anything, Trump's support among that cadre has grown stronger in recent weeks following the release of special counsel Robert Mueller's report that concluded it, quote, did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in the election interference activities, end quote, and did not offer a recommendation on whether Trump obstructed justice in that same probe. Now, Pelosi knows all of that. She gets that barring some cataclysmic development, the Senate isn't going to convict Trump on the articles of impeachment, which makes the House impeaching Trump purely a symbolic move with no actual teeth. Number three, it turns Trump into a victim. Now Trump loves, loves to play the victim. He's the target of a deep state conspiracy. He's unfairly treated by the media. He was the subject of a nearly two years long witch hunt at the hands of Bob Mueller. I call it the Russian hoax. It turned out to be no collusion, no obstruction, no collusion with Russia. You get the idea. Impeaching Trump in the House without having a puncher's chance of the Senate doing the same hands him a baseball bat to club Democrats with all the way through 2020. And Democrats hate him so much that they are unfairly targeting him and being derelict in their duties to the country. They are blinded with hatred. You can literally hear Trump saying or tweeting these things. In fact, Trump is already rolling out that argument. We've had a House investigation. We have Senate investigations. We have investigations like nobody's ever had before and there's nothing, we did nothing wrong. They would have loved to have said we colluded. They would have loved it. These people were out to get us. Pelosi, for her part, thinks she's on to the president's game. Trump is goading us to impeach him. That's what he's doing. 
every single day he's just like taunting, taunting, taunting because he knows that it would be very divisive in the country but he doesn't really care just wants to solidify his base. Number four, it even more badly divides the country. Remember that Pelosi was in Congress back when House Republicans impeached Bill Clinton. Clinton was acquitted in the Democratic-controlled Senate later. Sound familiar? And Pelosi saw how that fight planted the seeds for the polarized nightmare in which we are all now living. Quote, impeachment is so divisive to the country that unless there's something so compelling and overwhelming and bipartisan, I don't think we should go down that path because it divides the country, Pelosi told the Washington Post. Number five, people don't actually vote on it. When Pelosi was adamant during the 2018 midterm campaign that Democratic candidates spend their time talking about health care and specifically the Republican attempt to repeal Barack Obama's Affordable Care Act and not talk about Donald Trump's latest tweets. It's about stopping the GOP and Mitch McConnell's assaults on Medicare, Medicaid, the Affordable Care Act, and the health care of 130 million Americans living with pre-existing medical conditions. That's the blueprint that Pelosi wants all Democrats to follow in 2020. And poll after poll proves her right. Healthcare and immigration typically top the list of voters' beliefs about the most important issues facing the country. Impeachment, on the other hand, is rarely mentioned in that list. Of course, the best laid plans often get thrown out when real life <laughs> nudges its way in. But for the moment, Pelosi believes staying away from impeaching Trump is the best strategy to keep control of the House and beat the president come November 2020. And that is the point. We make new point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.